on the count of four. One, two, three, four. So in Minecraft, you can kind of just blow stuff up as such. So if I just take a flint and steel and just go like that, you basically just detonate like a whole bomb. So it kind of so people would normally use it for mining, but like, why would we we'll want to use it for mining? So this is a little intense. So the TNT has finally stopped. This whole mountain is blown up, and this whole mountain is also blown up. Why can't we just shoot arrows that summon TNT? Like, it's such a good idea. Okay, so basically what this will do is if I get like a bow, and then I get like an arrow. Now whenever you fire, see how it does that? But I want to summon TNT with a fuse of 20 ticks so that it waits a little bit. I want to make it a few more ticks. So let's see if we fire this way, straight into the door. I just want you to take a look at this for a second. <clears throat> uh, so my game just crashed. To be expected in every mess of TNT, that's always a thing you gotta keep in mind. Uh oh, it's the same area. Now if I'm this far out, I don't think it should. Never mind. All right, I need to get some dispensers. Wait, 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 I have an idea. Now there should be a chance that like, Maybe not, actually. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I may not want to do this. Mm, I'm causing too much things. This arrow is an arrow? All right, so basically anywhere that there's TNT, and I forgot that there's still TNT rendered in the map. So basically what happened is I, I put this command block in and I simply just did not think about there being any other TNT rendered in the map. All right, another thing I want to do with TNT is the game is very laggy at the moment. I think, why does it say saving world? You know, I think my game crashed and I didn't even do anything. This is just perfect, you know? Oh, oh, wait, oh, oh, no, please stop. It done did again, Martha. New world, new me. How I'm thinking TNT works. You can grab a TNT in here. I want to get an ender pearl and some water. Now, if I throw an ender pearl in there, it should rise to the top. As you can see, it's kind of bouncing up. If I get a flint and steel right here, I think if I just blow this up, I think it will launch the ender pearl. Ah, see, see? Throwing ender pearls takes too much effort, as we all are familiar with. So instead of just throwing it, you can uh, throw my pearl in there. You can even throw like a few ender pearls in there. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. Do exactly what a TNT launcher does. All right, there. So now, whenever I launch my TNT, how am I supposed to do this? I'm like, I'm not good at redstone. This is going to feed into there and also going to go up to here, going up to here, and it's gonna get this one, but this one should be able to get this one and this one goes around and it gets that one. Okay, makes sense. Do I need a repeater? Let me get like a button. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. There it goes. Oh wait, no, it didn't, it, oh, oh. I did not, I would have to do it my way, I guess. So my way of doing it is a little bit different. Just ignore all of that, because I always just use command blocks. Command blocks are so much easier to use. You can tell the command block where, where you want it to place. Uh oh, take it out of here. Okay, there we go. Now, we're gonna add a little bit more TNTs that can be spawned. All right, there we go. Now, uh, the other thing you have to do now is place the pressure plate above the correct spot. Uh oh, look at it go. Oh, look at that. It went far out. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I think that's enough ender pearls. So I'm gonna stand on the button. I found one of the end pearls. Oh, another end pearl. Oh my goodness. Wait, how far am I going? Where am I? I... Huh. It seems I have been launched extremely far. Look, all the way from there to over there. There we go. Alright. Okay, we're gonna go away from the launcher idea. I'm going to make a human launcher. I don't have the redstone knowledge to make a launcher. So that's why I'm going to make a redstone launcher. I'm comboing a spider. I just comboed a spider. Wait, no, I just, you know, this time, I, I, I just, I just won't use command blocks, okay? I, I feel like I can do it, okay? I'm also using gyro, right? Please do not judge the gyro. So I want to press this button. Fill it up with a lot of TNT and just copy it over. 
Although, you do have to be kind of careful because if you misplace, that's like a lot of stacks of TNT. I may have to change the button height. Yay. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. I did not expect it to do that. Question it, okay? Oh, no, no, no. It's weirdly not timed. This is slightly menacing. I want it to be like extremely tall though. And we're just gonna see how high it goes, okay guys? TNT has been deployed and that's not good. That's not good. I have a feeling that, that one TNT that got on that nether brick broke everything. You know, I thought it was gonna go higher. Ladies and gentlemen, I must show you what I like to call the Supertron Exhilaration Machine 20,000 Fantastic. This human launcher right here uses 70,000 gigawatts of energy. The core processor is right here. This is the Core i9 946, and the right up there is the graphics card GeForce 70,426. Right over here is all of our RAM. On the count of four, one, two, three, four, Woo! As you can tell, this is the human launcher, but also the TNT launcher. You can it is it is a little bit loud. That is, that is a fact about it. I can't really fix the loudness because it's it's just kind of a thing built into the processor. But you can try and fix it. At the moment, we're at 334 subscribers, so let's get that number up as high as we can. It's basically just a bouncing pad. So this is nice and all, right? This is incredible, you know? Beautiful. It's definitely not the best masterpiece, but I have something to show. You guys know what a super flat world is, right? Oh man, what a beautiful. Now I just customized a super flat. But listen, do you need to understand the whole point of the TNT. What I'm about to do next is going to defy every single law of physics that you have ever imagined, ever could have think of, like everything that has been compiled in the past 50,000 years. Now I will warn y'all, if you do end up trying this, you will crash your computer, so I advise not only you watch me do it, unless, unless you're crazy. Anyway, you gotta say goodbye. Now you may think, you may think this is the end, but no, 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 no. Now, if you know what this does, is that every single TNT in the entire game, it's going to summon another TNT. That means it will infinitely copy itself. Now, it hasn't rendered it yet. Don't forget to sub.